Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Em. This here is Happy, and today I thought I'd share with you guys how I groom my dogs. So we're in the middle of spring, kind of the beginning of spring, I guess. It feels like the middle because we've had a lot of warm weather. But as you can see behind me, we're getting a snowstorm right now. And part of what comes along with spring is mud. And so what I like to do to keep my house a little cleaner and keep the dogs a little cleaner is trim up their feet and their tails. I mean, I like to keep them trimmed anyway because I think they look nice. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and trim up dogs today and I thought I'd show you guys how I trim my dogs. All right, so first thing I do is I trim nails and I use a Dremel for this. This is just um, an inexpensive Dremel off Amazon and I just have like a sanding um, attachment on it and I Dremel their nails. Now I do this every single week. I Dremel their nails every week, but I do their trim, their hair trimming about once a month. Um, they could use it probably every two to three weeks, um, but I stretch it out to once a month because I have six goldens and it does take me a little bit of time. So I'm gonna go ahead and Dremel Happy's toes. And uh, I always Dremel before I trim because if those toenails are sticking out further, then you're not gonna get the hair um, quite as short. If you do the nails first, then you can get that um, hair on the toes nice and short. Um, and make it look really pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. toes trimmed I'm gonna go ahead and trim um, I've got a 10 blade on my clippers so I'm going to go ahead and do all the trim work I would do with the 10 blade um, for this I'm going to do the inside of her ears and um, a sanitary patch I don't do a sanitary patch on my boys I just find that it kind of irritates them but on my girls it helps keep them much cleaner if my boys are really messy then I might but um, I found that my boys usually don't need it so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna trim up this hair right around here. Um, it allows for more airflow into her ears to keep them um, more dry and um, it helps me be able to see so that I can clean out her ears if I need to. All right, so now that I've got that done, I'm gonna switch over to my 40 blade. So the 40 blade is more like a surgical blade. It gets really, really close to the skin. Um, and so this one I use for um, her paw pads. I like to get all that hair out because that hair is what the mud will stick to um, when she goes outside to go potty and play and things like that. So I'm just gonna scoop out her pads is what we call it um, on all four of her feet. guys so I've got all of my clipper work done I've got her nails trimmed her pads scooped out her ears scooped out um, and a sanitary trim and next I'm gonna do my scissor work and so for the scissor work I'm gonna start with her ears and this is mainly for cosmetics um, 
If you had a golden with super fluffy ears, this would help um, keep down the matting because behind their ears they have super soft fur. And so that soft fur mats up easy. Um, with the English, usually you don't have to worry about that too much. It's more the American lines. Um, but if she had really fluffy ears, then I would thin this out back here. But really, she's not too bad. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to brush all the hair down. And I'm going to follow the, the leather, the skin on her ear. And I'm going to just trim. And I'm going to trim around the tip of it. Now this is just to help keep her looking a little more neat. Um, and less scruffy. Goldens can tend to look a little scruffy if they're not kept up. So um, if she had a lot of hair on the front of her ear, I would thin that out, but she doesn't. Um, and that would be more to help let air in. Um, but she's not too bad with that. She typically just needs that ear scooped out with the clippers and then we're good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim up her ears. Now I got our ears done. I'm gonna go ahead and do her feet. We're gonna start with the front foot here and I work my way around. As I go, I'm also gonna just be giving her a brush out. Like I said, she's not blowing coat too bad right now, so there's not a ton to brush out, but we are just gonna give her a good brush out as we go. Now when I trim the feet, they have this pad right here, a dew pad. So I'm going to trim any hair below that dew pad just to help keep her a little more trim, a little nice, a little bit neater. Um, when she goes outside and plays, it'll keep the mud from sticking to it so bad. So next thing I'm going to do is trim her tail. Now I trim their tails, um, the tips of their tails, because if I didn't, this would be hanging on the ground 
And when my dogs are happy and they're wagging their tails and their tails will be just getting all messy. Um, so it keeps them much cleaner. I also have grown to really like the look. Um, some people don't. Some people like the tails, the tips of the tails longer. I like a big fluffy tail, but I don't like it to be touching the ground. So I'm just going to trim it. And what I do is I feel where the end of her bone is and I trim just past that. So I'm not touching her bone or getting too close to her bone, but um, I'm keeping it as far off the ground as I can. And for this, you want them to stand fairly square. So I'm going to line her back up here. And I'm going to brush her tail out, all the tangles. I'm going to get everything brushed out. Stay. See you there. Like I said, you want to try to get them as square as possible. Um, and you want their heads facing forward if possible. Because if they turn their head, it will change what hairs you cut on this. So I'm just gonna take my left hand, I'm gonna run it down till I feel the end of her bone, and then with my right hand, I'll use the scissors to cut. Stick. Run my brush through it again. I've got a dog down here that is very impatiently waiting. I'm gonna pull my tail out, run my brush over it just a little bit, and any stragglers I see here, make it nice and clean. Stick. My dogs love to be groomed and I've got one just down, well a couple down here waiting, is because after I get done I always make sure to give them lots of one-on-one -on -one attention. We get lots of snuggles um, and I spend lots of time just telling them how good and pretty they are. Right? guys thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did would you mind giving us a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more videos about golden retrievers and we will catch you in the next video have a golden day great great have a golden day are you having a golden day how about a snowy day you go play in the snow